Splash Brothers. What is up, guys? This is your boy AJ Magic Magic Up coming at you from the Team Challenge. Now, from what I've heard from Card Merchant, we've already had some New Zealand stores knocked out of the competition, so it's not looking good. We need to uh, we need to get in there for New Zealand card shops and uh, start doing some damage, especially since we've been grouped in with the Australians. It's a bit like a um, an old Tri Nations match or something. You know, we need to show them who's boss and uh, hopefully. Hopefully, I'm going to be able to do that with a means deck today, because uh, <laughs> we're going up against, what have we got? There's a uh, 180p, standard ADP, three Zashians, uh, we've got a Blacephalon, another Blacephalon, and I uh, don't know what the fourth is, but as far as I'm aware, um, three players, each team. Um, the fourth player sits out and captains the team. Um, and yeah, captains there to support, give uh, guidance. Three players play one match each. Should be nine games total, and it's the first team to uh, five games. So we've got Card Merchant just uh, putting up in chat here that uh, we do best of three games each round and report back. So it looks pretty standard. From what they were talking about before, it looked like it could be, <coughs> excuse me, could be something a little bit different. You never know. Hopefully, still a bit of a deck breakdown before we get in into the games. <coughs> Hopefully it's going to be fun. I mean, I, I like this deck. We've got uh, two Porygons and a Porygon Z here. The Porygon Z, as many of you will know with Crazy Code, you're trying to get as many special energies on onto the Whimsicott in this case as possible. Playing the Cottony, 3-3 three, three line of Cottony Whimsicott. Got to Dene for Digni Power. <coughs> got a Zacian. Got the Intrepid Sword ability, hopefully that might come in handy. Just if you don't want to discard your hand. Got an Elder Goss, get back that boss's orders. I think I'm running two in here. Let's have a look. Two, yeah, so essentially you've got three with the Elder Goss. Crowbat, a little more digging power, don't have to discard. Great card. Perfect for the upcoming format. Evo Incense, get some of those cards out. Few quick balls, four quick balls, four rare candies, three great balls. This wondrous labyrinth, really, really cool card, especially if you're playing a fairy deck. And you're not going to see this anymore uh, after the next rotation because, uh, unfortunately, I think it's team up. Team up drops off. I've heard talks that they're going to sword and shield and up. So we're looking sword shield base. We're looking rebel clash. And Darkness Ablaze, Battle Styles, and any new sets from there. But uh, the attacks of non fairy type Pokemon cost uh, one energy more of any type. Uh, we've got got the standard Professors, Marnies, running three bosses. Sorry, I stand corrected. Shuffles them around because one's reversed and the others are not. And then you've got a plethora of special energies and fairy energies. Had to go with the hollow, because why not? It'd be rude not to. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. Pairings are about to come up. I'd really like to go into the ADP first. It'd be really nice if I could get this out turn two and start doing some real damage. Um, but, you know what? It is what it is, and uh, if it works, it works. If it doesn't. I'm having fun. I really wish now, you know, I, I, it may do well, but I wish that I'd use this Ditto deck. I'm really, really enjoying this in the current format. Just reminds me of Mewtwo Mew, but with a bit more uh, pivot power. Got a couple of Dedenos there, you can use the moves if you need to. You've got a Volcanion, get those fire energies out very quickly at the start. 
Sometimes you may end up just using this as a standard Heatran GX deck. Of course, that's before we rotate our format, so it will be gone in a wee while. But you've got the likes of Vendidi with Watch Over, Eldegoss again to get the boss's orders back. But you can pivot. You're playing Eternatives, pivot into Surfetch, you're playing Grass, Rillaboom, pivot into Talonflame, you're playing Fire, Cinder Scorch deck, just throw in Milotic, one Welder, <laughs> and an Aurora Energy, and you've got this guy going, and he's going to start doing some serious damage to Cinder Scorch. And of course, you've got your Ditto V Max, which, if you play it properly, um, you're going to start being able to copy some big moves. I love going into ADP with uh, Ditto VMAX uh, because you can. Uh, sorry, ADP Zashian deck, not ADP the card. Because uh, when you go into the Zashians, you can uh, you can really hit quite hard. You can knock a Zashian with the Ditto VMAX and they can't one hit you. Just brings a smile to my face. Alright, pairings are up. First round, Ming versus me. Let's see if we've got him online. <clears throat> Must be smooching. Let's have a look. Yes, smooching. Alright, let's go. Let's see what happens. Good luck, have fun. Going on for some, uh, some of these heated matches. Excuse me for one moment. Oh, here we go. Tails never fails. Let's do it. Oh, and it failed this time. What can I say? Oh, shocking first hand. <laughs> oh, why? It's always the DNA. I reckon that the uh, algorithm online is so much worse than the algorithm. Well, there is no algorithm in real life. It's just a luck of the draw, but I'm going against ADP too. Oh, no. How I wish. How I wish. got his ADP out. He's going to primate with him some energy for sure. I mean, that's fairly obvious. I do like playing the Oranguru variant of ADP. Got an Aurora Energy there. I really don't want to use that. I mean, solid option. Get that Porygon. I really don't want to be using Professor's Research at this point. It's, it's painful to have to do that. And I don't want to get rid of two ones. Got some money running three in this deck. So... Leaves me with very little choice but to money. And hopefully whatever he arranged that throws that back in the deck as well. Alright. What have we got here? We've got another Porygon. That's alright. Not looking great though. <laughs> um, you know what? I wouldn't normally do this, but... You know, desperate times call for desperate measures. Um... See what happens. See if he can get um, altered creation off this turn. If he can, then the, uh, I'm in trouble. Um, otherwise, you know, then really it just it is what it is. He's got that on there. Can he switch it? Yes, he can. So he's getting altered creation this turn, which is a bit of a pain. Well, actually, it's more than a bit of a pain. What can I get? Come on. Nothing. This is terrible. This is just shocking. I really don't want to use that to denote, but I don't feel like I have much other choice. He was knocking that to Dino next turn. <laughs> he 
put them a while out. He wanted to have a look at my hand, see if he could put another Dedene down. Because at this point, as soon as he hits two Dedenes, he's won the game. <coughs> this is not looking good for me at all. He's put my Dedene out, so it's useless now. Hey. Can he switch it? Hopefully I can keep him paralyzed, at least for the... <sighs> for this, it might give me a little bit more time to do something. It's not going to do any good. Oh well. We haven't fun, team. We haven't fun. It's alright. You know what, though? If he can't get it out of the active, then might give me some time to do some stuff, but. <laughs> Man, he's milling through that deck. 26 cards left. I suppose it doesn't matter. He's just got to hit the 10 and 2 other Pokemon. And here we go, he's knocking the quarry gun. We'll have the Zacian powered up next turn. Oh, well, that's disappointing. Just savagely bricked for me. And you know what I wonder as well? I wonder if those games beforehand leading up to um, the tournament that I played with this deck where I got excellent draws, if it was just like, right, this is it. You're, you're, you're paying for your awesome draws by having absolutely shocking ones. Let's see what happens. That wasn't good. Come on. Come on, good Pokemon. Come on. Oh, Mulligan. Oh. oh, well. You know what? Sometimes it makes you want to have another look at the deck and say, you know, is this built to the best, best possible build style that you could have? Eh, I don't know. Is he going to go for ADP this time, or is he just going to try and bring out more Wild Obsession or something like that and see what he can do? Well, at least it's given me a slightly, slightly better start. Um, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to 
get rid of that. That's the only logical thing to get rid of. I hope. Come on, guys. Let's pull it together for this game. And then if, at least if I can get one under my belt, that's good. I'm happy with that. Then it brings it back to an even playing field. And if I draw badly on that, then that's just it. It is what it is, and you've got to live with it. All right. ADP's out. Let's boss his orders that out. Let's get Whimsicott out there, and let's start doing double damage. Come on, team. Is he going to put ADP out, though? Is that something that's worthwhile? Him risking. ADP is such a predictable deck. He's gonna um, Orangaroo Energy onto the top of the deck and Intrepid Sword for sure. I know that. I've played ADP many, many times. I used to play it myself. Um, uh, pretty much this variant here as well. But is it gonna be more worth his time for going ADP here and just swinging him with Zaytu? He definitely likes milling out his own deck. He's got uh, 33 cards left. Come on, bring ADP in. Do it. You know you want to. And then you have to make that decision. If you bring ADP in, you've got an altered... you either got an altered creation or... You're going to bring the session in, but I have, I have a sneaking suspicion he's trying to get ADP. He wants altered creation. There it is. Can he do it this turn? If he can't, then that puts me in a really good position. We'll chuck that triple acceleration on once I've evolved Whimsicott, and uh, that works. As long as he doesn't crush and hammer me. Oh, Rusted Sword. I like that he's playing a new variant of this. Cherish Ball, is he going for a Dedene? He's going to mill his hand, uh, sorry, his deck rather down even more. Um, or was he just trying to get the use out of the card? Pretty much figured he was going for Dedene. That's cool. He's looking for an energy um, metal sorcerer and an energy switch, and then he's going to bring ADP out, and that's fine. He's got both of them. He's getting altered creation off this turn. Um, hold on to that bosses because he's going to probably retreat the ADP for sure. I mean, that would be the sensible thing to do. Um, Can he knock it this turn? He's doing 180. Oh, I hope that I've played this sensibly. He's going to attack. Hopefully it doesn't go through. If it does, he's doing 180. It is what it is. I'm taking his ADP next turn. Hasn't gone through. Thank goodness. That's why you play this deck. He's going to put three energy on the Zacian, so I have to get another Pokemon out. That's just a non-negotiable. Um, you know what? I feel like I have to risk this. There's no way I can get another Pokemon out this turn. The Zacian may or may not hit me. I need to take the prizes from this, so... I'm going to leave that off. I'm going to equip the Recycle Energy. And... Or well, Energy Blow. Take three prizes. That's fine. Hopefully the Zacian doesn't go through. That would be an absolute dream. If it does, I've lost. And it is what it is. But... You know what? We're going to try. He's going to try and hit me. I'm trying to flip a coin to get out of it. Thank you. Yes. All right. Now, now we're in business. 
Right, he can't attack with that next turn. Um, I think I can knock it. One, two. What are we looking at? Two energy. So that's 60, 70, plus 90. No, I can't. So I won't actually pay to equip that. I'm going to equip the capture energy. We're going to go play a slightly longer game here. That's fine. Um, I'm going to be a bit cheeky. Do I hit it? Can he switch it out? We'll see what happens. If he can't, then I've got it next turn. If he can, then I can get that other Whimsicott there. I'm hoping he can't switch it. It's the beauty of having... Um, uh, well, he switched it and he's going to air balloon now. That's okay. I've still got the chance that he won't flip on it. Come on. Oh, and he's taking it out. That's okay. He's used to switch. Maybe he won't be able to switch out again. Um, we'll just have to see what happens. Haven't been able to get this deck coming like I normally would like to. Um, we're going to evolve. Be rude not to... Not to try it how you meant to try it. We're gonna toy box GX. We're gonna go for Porygon and Porygon. Porygon. No, no. We'll go like this Porygon, Porygon. Not that one. We'll take that. He's definitely got another switch in there. If he doesn't, I'm very, very lucky. I'm just hoping this attack doesn't go through. And I know I'm putting a lot on this, but I don't really have any other option. He's got the extra 20 damage from the Galarian Perserker when he's able to evolve that. He can switch it out. It's very consistent. Fingers crossed, team. Fingers crossed. I get a heads. Yes, and it hasn't gone through. Thank goodness. Right, now we're in business. I'm actually able to start moving stuff around. Whew. I think I might even be able to take him this turn. You know what? I'm going to try. I'm going to be... I'm going to go there. There we go. So lucky. But you know what? Sometimes that's what this game is about. He's got nothing powered up. He has no more sessions out here. Hopefully this is going to be a win. It's a cheeky win. And I was relying on coin flips. But it's the same as Wildlord. People who play Wildlord rely on coin flips. And that's just the way it is. He's not going to like what's coming next. I can knock anything that he's got out. And I've got a boss's orders. So um, the reality here is unless he can knock the Whimsicott this turn, I, I think I've got this. I don't want to be overly confident, but we've got two recycles. That's 60. The capture, that's 90. Um, plus the fairy that's already on there, that's 120. Plus 10, that's 130. And I can switch him into a Zoranguru with the boss's order. So if he manied me, that would be terrible. Um, has he played a supporter this turn? Should have been paying more attention. If he manies me, terrible. Otherwise, we got this. Right. Just got to be really sensible with how I play this. Gonna put him down. We're going to crazy code capture energy onto here. We're gonna use capture energy to grab him. We're going to um, play that onto there, that onto there. 
and I'm going to attach my boss's orders out there. And I'm going to image you blow for the win. And we did it with the Windsor Cup. There we go. That was a nail biter and a half. I can't believe I took that. <laughs> oh. Oh my goodness. I better ask him if he wants to go first or second. Um. If I win this, I will be very surprised. I've got my fingers crossed. Here's hoping. If I can get the Whimsy Cop going by the time ADP's out, then maybe, maybe I'll stand a chance if some coin flips go my way. I could have played ADP, but I chose not to because this is quite funny playing this, but... He's going to energy spinner. He's going to chuck a water onto ADP. Um, it's just how you play the deck. And, and there you go. Uh, if only he had Narangaroo. But he might still get steel energy off this. Wow. Wow. Zashian ready to go. Oh my goodness. That's very unlucky. Quick ball, a great ball away. Let's get a... Tatine. Um, capture energy. Grab a cotton air. We will... Boss's orders that out. And... Not looking good. Um, we'll leave that in the active. I, I'd rather have the draw power of another card. That's <laughs> a Rory energy. Uh, that actually might have been to my detriment. I, I keep forgetting. He can Metal Saucer that back on, so he's getting the extra 20 damage plus a Metal Saucer potentially onto that station. I mean, it doesn't really matter, 60 HP, he's going to take out the, uh, the Porygon regardless, but, uh, and there we go. That play was fairly obvious. If he's got an Energy Switch, then that's going straight onto the ADP. Um... We can make this work. It's not great. We can make it work, but it's not great. I mean, my play in my head that I'm thinking right now, maybe he switches in, maybe he knocks the Porygon, maybe he gets Altered Creation off. I get Cockney out next turn. 
evolution incense whimsy cut out aurora energy onto that i use its gx which gets me five cards and i get a rare candy and hopefully get that porygon up and running so i think he's going to altered creation this turn and then if he's clever he'd get it out of the active as quick as he possibly can because he knows as well as i do that if that stays there then there's trouble and i almost made a mistake Pay attention when you're playing. <laughs> Alright. We got that. You know what? We've got the money too, so we can try that. We'll discard, we'll get rid of the Evo incense, we will uh, retreat and bring out the Whimsicott because 50 50 chance that it gets hit. Um, or money. Hopefully our money into a rare candy and a uh, Porygon Z. Um, and I got the rare candy, but the Porygon Z is not there, so it's a little bit painful. Um, I'm in two minds. Normally I would put the Zashian out for the draw power, but um, putting Zashian out now could be detrimental because all he has to do is bosses and then get it out, and that's three prizes. Whereas these are only two, and that's three, so it gives me a bit more time. Um, I'm going to be extra cheeky. Let's toy box and hope that he can't um, do anything. We'll get that. And two of them. That makes sense. We're doing an extra 180 with weakness. If he manies, he manies, but I'm just hoping he doesn't money. If he doesn't money, then maybe we'll be okay. Maybe he switches to the Zash. I'm pretty sure he'll switch to the Zash, but you know, if he does, there's nothing we can do. Oh, he's got rid of a switch, so either he's playing two or He's going to try and hit me with that ADP, and that's fine. To be honest, I don't really care. Energy switching. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I see the point. He's going to energy up. He's going to power up probably the Per Circuit and the Zashian, or another Zashian. No, he can't put another Zashian out, so. Oh. We'll see what happens. I mean. Losses orders that did he make, so he takes three prizes for that. And that's just the way it is. He, he can't money, so at least that's a positive. I've definitely got his ADP next turn. You know, he takes three for that, maybe he gets three off the Whimsicott. I've really just got to put all my eggs in one basket here and hope that I flip a heads and it doesn't go through um, a couple of times at this point. Uh, we'll put cotton out, we'll rear candy onto you, we'll rear candy onto you. Hmm. It's one of those tough ones at the moment because I'm not doing double damage, but I can attach that for turn. I can crazy code that and that onto there. I think it's going to be enough. This is really, really risky, but he can't one hit me with the ADP. Oh, he can. <laughs> I forgot it was weakness. Oh, well. Take two prizes. I was going to have to take that out at some point and hope that I didn't get hit. He's going to bring the ADP out. Oh, he's not. Oh, no, he doesn't need to. Oh, 170, 140, 20 more damage, 90, 180. So he's not one hitting with that. If I can take the per circuit and then take the ADP and not get hit, then I might have this. 
And his boss is already. Oh no! <laughs> What's he bossing at? Two prizes. No. It is gonna come down to a coin flip here, people. It's, it is gonna come down to a coin flip. No! This is hilarious. If I attach that there, we've got 30, 60, 90, 100. It's not enough. I'm, I just have to hope that he does not have a boss's orders in his hand that he can use. If he has a boss's, I'm in trouble. Because that ADP can take out this crowbat. But it doesn't, I don't have any other choice. It's the only way I'm taking that per circuit out. Here's how it plays. He puts the ADP out. He's either got a bosses or he doesn't. I've got a bosses here, so I can get that ADP out. I can try and get my Dedenne out to get more energy and maybe one hit it. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure he's got this. <sighs> it's close. It was close. It was close. I wish, I wish the first game had just been a little bit more even. I just absolutely bricked and dead drew. And you didn't see the potential of this deck, but last game you did. This game, it's been a lot more even. What's he going to do? I should be looking at his discard. He's only used one boss's orders. If he's playing the variant with four, then it's highly likely he's got another boss's orders. What's he here below me? Wow. This is absolutely crazy. We're going to do that. Because it'd be rude not to. We're going to do that. But I'm not going to grab anything. We're going to do that. And again, I'm not going to grab anything. I'm going to quick ball. And there's no... Where are my cards? It's absolutely shocking. What am I doing? Twenty short. That is heartbreaking. And he'll have a bosses and be able to boss out my Porygon. <laughs> heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. No, that was so close. If only I had a Crobat or a Dedenne that was still active. Well, that's AJ Magic Magic Cup. That was the first round. We'll see if we can record the others. At least there are a couple of good games for you to watch. Remember, ADP is not king. There are decks that can take it down, and that is proof. I got so close to winning two games out of three. Over and out.